Hey hey, Limford SK here and I'm back after a bit of a timeout. I've done one video just after Christmas time. I, um, oh, hang on. That's it. That's better. I think the camera was a bit laggy. I've done one just saying what I was planning for the gear. And then I've had a bit of a busy couple of months so I haven't really got around to doing anything. So I've got two videos coming up. I'll just quickly show you them. And there's two things that I've just received in the post today. Um, everyone... You'll probably recognise this one. It's a MCW, Mill Cold Weather, menu number 21, uh, scrambled eggs with cheese, western style. Uh, men menu number 12, I should say, sorry. So that'll be, I've done one of these before, but it was uh, chowder, clam chowder, I believe the meal was. So that's going to be next video. That's coming soon. Oh, my camera's a bit laggy today, I apologise for that. But today, I've got something that I've never seen before. It's called a BCB, Emergency Ration Pack. Um... I've never heard of it. I found it on the website where I buy my MREs and MCWs and them things. And uh, I thought I'll get it. It's the same price as an MRE, about the same size, probably a little bit smaller. Uh, I don't think it's there is a there is a um, list of what's on it here, but I'm not really going to look through that because it spoils it. Let's more of a surprise. I'm not very well prepared, so I haven't got. Hopefully, there's nothing to cook or anything in here. Oh, I've got no plates or nothing, no tray. I just thought I'd give it a go. And I've got a spoon. That's about as far prepared. And some water, which is down to the side of me here. And my knife. I've always got my knife on my desk. And yeah, that's a burn mark. I think everyone who does MREs and then sort of videos will end up with a burn mark somewhere from various heaters. Okay, let's dig this in then. I believe this is quite a lot less foody and more like more survival stuff. Oh, let's go. So it's a good bag. It's a solid, pretty strong old bag. It's a good foil bag to start with. I'll leave that there. Let's see what's in there. Right, we have. Right, a big bag, big um, see-through clear sealable bag, feels pretty strong, pretty big, pretty cool, so that could be for, to store everything or to store your trash or whatever, I'll put that to the side here, um, whitener, coffee whitener, tea whitener, there, and there's two of them, two things of whitener, uh, okay, new millennium energy bar cherry, 400 calories, low sodium energy, and it's, it feels like a rock to be fair, and I'll try and show you the, uh, go on, uh, there you go, almost, well, I'll read it out and I, uh, serving size 1 bar, 84 grams, made in the USA this is, and MFG, MFG by SOS Food Labs in Florida, made in Florida, so ignore that, that's just someone knocking at my door, um, yeah, so, pretty good a lot of high fat content high saturate content um, well high no cholesterol so it looks pretty good no cholesterol 18% uh, carbs so yeah it's a good energy bar I'm looking forward to try that it's don't know if it's it don't say anything about preparing anything about it but it feels rock hard so yeah move on anyway we'll open that in a minute what's here four oasis water purification tablets uh, two sugars, two silver spoons, that's like the usual sugar I buy here in England anyway, so it's not a special brand or anything like that. A pack of matches, and there's one row of the very thin wood, oh, okay, let me just quickly rip one of these off, a light of it, okay, yeah, they work, Some, I got, um, I believe it was the German, the German pack I bought before that had matches in it that just didn't seem to light don't know if they've been in there too long or... Okay, some sort of cable, wire. Quite interesting. I won't unravel that, but it's a lot of... Seems to be quite a lot of wire there. Won't be some reason. A little tea light candle. Quite interesting as well. Some of this stuff, um... Yeah, I guess it's like camping stuff, maybe. Um, what's that? I believe that's another two of the water purification tablets just ripped off there. Right. Two coffees, Nescafe coffees, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly make one of them up, because I haven't made a drink, so... I'll quickly make one of them up, I've just boiled a kettle. It's standard Nescafe, so it's not going to be any different. I don't know why. I don't need to review it or anything. It's, it is just literally original, it's not even taster's choice or anything. I'll add the whitener to it as well. Um, 
Yeah, excuse me if you can hear like me, um, my neighbours in the house at the moment. Uh, if you live in England, you know it's you might know it's Grand National Day today. It's a big horse race, and everyone, everyone who doesn't bet, and everyone who does bet, loads of people come around and bet on it and stuff. And in here, I think my granddad's known as the one who does the bets. So a lot of people who don't bet will come to him to. So that uh, I won't put sugar in. I don't have sugar in that. Uh, right, what we got here? Some sweets, boiled sweets, like hard boiled sweets. There's one, two, three, six of them. They all look orange, I'll try one of them in a minute. But I'll move some of this stuff out of the way that I'm not going to really do. I'm not going to light up a candle and show you how a candle works. And I'm not going to... Uh, I'll try and find out what this cable's for, I assume. Maybe making a fishing hook. Alright. A whistle. bcbin.com, it's got rope on it. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. So I guess it's a little emergency whistle. Uh, an oxo cube. So you make you can make a drink with that, I guess. Or we here in my house, we just crumble these into water and add it with gravy stock and make gravy with them. So, or you can crumble them onto meat and stuff when you're cooking it to put a sauce. In. That's interesting. Uh, a pencil, standard little. Again, it's got bcbin.com on it, so they must be the survival company. Uh, oh, that's interesting. It's a little tiny little compass, little button compass. So this, yeah, I had no clue what this was, so it's really interesting. It's like a, it is a survival kit of sorts, but a little emergency thing. It's not a meal kit. Well, you've got two little things here, two little Kendall mint cakes. So I'll try them in a second. And with that, a little foil, little aluminium light you get in your takeaway or... Yeah, quite interesting. Quite solid, they're quite, not sturdy, but like, you can use them. I think they're quite heat resistant, so... Uh, I believe, I don't think there's any cooking tablet oh maybe you could use the tea light i guess you could stack a little thing on top of that and make yourself there um i don't know you could possibly even make a little grill thing to go across it with the wire you could uh, make up your uh stock in it or whatever if you didn't have a cup with you you could put your oxo cube into it a bit of water and eat it like a soup and there's a little piece of paper with this as well bcb survival instructions immediate action in a survival situation one Check yourself and your companions. Two, give first aid treatment First aid treatment if required. Three, put on appropriate clothing. Four, consolidate survival and other useful items. Five, seek or construct temporary shelter and protect yourself. Six, make fire and prepare location devices. And seven, relax, formulate a plan and read on. <laughs> and it's actually got, um, it's probably too sm small to show you guys, but it's got a plan, like how to set up a plan and what sort of plan you should do. Uh, I won't read it all, but says about do you believe you'll need a rescue here's what you can do think logically blah 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 discuss the matter if you're in a group if you're on your own try and remain calm be positive be sure be realistic be realistic so it's fully emergency little thing it's got a little bit about first aid a bit about protective clothings and uh, locations signaling how to build a tent it's also got morse code in here quite interesting it's got a whole alphabet of morse code it's got things about making fires um position of in it's got an injury chart that's really awesome it's actually got an evaluation report, so if you are with someone, you can write down with the little pencil what you're doing. Um, it's a, and it's got quite an interesting thing now. It's got a survival plan. So if you have this with you, you've got your pencil. Write down um, location as accurate as you can, what happened, number in your party, who's in the party, for example, only children or elderly or people with health, who are you, contact details, others' phone numbers. And yeah, it's got plans, quite cool. It's got things about protective water and making water thingy, how to make fires. Uh, it's actually got little traps and stuff that look like they can be made with this wire. Uh, how to use a stick to be a compass and using this little compass with a stick to make a cool thing. So yeah, it's really interesting actually, really cool. I'll read this properly one day, and probably later on today. Um, but it's really cool, like, proper little survival gear. So it'll be useful, I'll have this now in my door and maybe when I go camping and stuff I'll bring it with me. I also have a little bag now for camping because I have so many... Uh, coffees, teas, um, water tablets, FRHs and stuff like that. I've got so many of them left over from various MREs and, and stuff that I, I sort of bag them up and make little bags and stuff. So when I do go camping, I go camping some years. So when I do go now, I can um, have a few bits just in case. I'm not expecting to get too lost in England. It's not exactly, not like the wild of America where you could get lost or there's not much room here. Within an hour, you always get somewhere. So I'm not going to put the stuff in this bag now, I'm actually going to pull it all back into the main bag, just to be extra. Um, stuff that back in there, and I'll quickly go through some of this, I'm going to have a drop of my coffee. Yeah, it's fine, Nescafe. And I'll try this stuff, so first of all, 
two of these, I think they are exactly the same. Mint, mint Kendall, Mint Cake, um, the gateway to English Lakes, Romney, so it's a British made thing. Uh, made in Cumbria, yeah. Ingredients, sugar, glucose syrup, water and peppermint oil. And it don't go off until it's best before is next year. Um, <laughs> quite interesting little thing, I'll read this out to you on the back list. Romney's Kendall Mint Cake was the first mint cake to be successfully carried to the top of Mount Everest on May the 29th, 1953 and being the first this being the first successful expedition to the summit, so yeah, so they're quite proud of that fact, I guess. It uh, means they're quite an old company as well, I don't see the actual founding date on here. But let's have a look at this. So, oh, it's pure white, I thought it might be chocolate or something. It says pure white. Oh, it's, this is very hard as well. Breaking, there's three like pieces onto it and there's two bars, so I assume he's gonna. Oh, it smells good, it smells really strong mint, really like toothpaste, or you can see it's predominantly this like clouded see-through colour but with white patches in it which look more chalky. It feels really chalky, it feels like it's coated in something but nothing comes off my hand. Quickly try a bit. Oh that's lovely, that's really good. Um, if you've tried, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called now, there's chocolate bars you get here that have mint in the middle and it's like a liquid mint and this is exactly what tries it. As soon as you put this on your tongue it melts into a liquid like um, almost instantly melts to a liquid. It's really good. I'll be happy surviving on this stuff. Yeah, that is really nice. So I move on. I'll try a bit of this. This is interesting. This this feels so hard. Um, see if I can get it open. That is. I don't see any. Oh yeah, there you go. Tear here. Oh, not very good. There's no room to grip it. It says to tear here, but you can't actually grip it. Let me try and use my knife here. Oh wow, not what I expected. Smells good though. Smells like um, cherry bakewell. It's got that marzipan sort of cherry smell. Oh yeah, so it's a solid block. Don't know why I was expecting something completely different. Uh, the ingredients are sugar, palm oil, uh, all chemicals and flavorings and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try and break a bit off. Oh, just about. It's very crumbly. You see it's crumbling in my hand already. I'll try a bit of this quickly. Odd. Tastes is fine. Yeah. Tastes a bit chemically, but it's got a nice like cherry taste to it, the cherry bakewell sort of bakewell tart taste, marzipani. Um, it's hard to describe the texture. It's kind of it's crum really crumbly and really hard, but when you chew it, it's like you've got sand in your mouth almost. <laughs> Very grainy. Um, I've had two little bites there and it's already getting stuck in my teeth, so it'd be quite annoying to survive from that. Um, let's have one of these sweets. There's no details of these actually. Um, what they are, I think they're just normal hardball sweets. Yeah, they're very hard. Um, like orangey taste. They're not strong, they're not very really strong flavour. Like you buy a pack of sweets, boiled sweets, and you expect them. They're usually very strong, very chemically tasting, very artificial sweeteners. This is really not a strong taste at all. You have to really, really dig into it to get a bit of flavour. Look at this packet, I'll just say what it had. It, it says plain mint cake. Um, I don't actually say there's two of them. Stock cube, we saw that Millennium Bar, that's the big cherry bar. Two coffees, two milks, two sugars. Milk actually means whitener. One candle, one book of, book of matches, one foil tray, poly bag, uh, water pure fans, tablets, whistle, survival instructions, pencil, wire, six sweets and a button compass. Um, it says container pouch can be used as a water bag, so that's quite useful. Uh, it's 310 grams. Mm. Yeah, it looks quite interesting, so definitely recommend them. It's surplusandoutdoors.com is the website I get them from. It's UK, I'm not too sure if they deliver abroad and stuff, but I assume they probably do, but obviously I can't tell you about prices and stuff here this was 11 99 I bought this and uh, 11 pound 99 that is uh, and the MCW was 12 99 I think it was five pound posting package altogether for the two of them and it, I ordered two days ago and they came today so they're really quick on U on mainland UK so um, back number says int 182720 and best before end is 
2009, 2015, so it's not that long, but at the same time, this said it was 2016, and the other thing was 2016 as well, so I guess that's a general date, but it's quite impressive, quite an impressive little survival kit. It's not a, it's not a similar, it's not similar to an, it's got some similarities to an MRE really, but nothing, it's not a meal pack, it's not a whole meal, it's not designed to be that, it's designed to literally be a little survival kit, you get your own food and stuff, I guess. Just be useful little things like the compass if you're lost in a forest or if you get lost at somewhere else you'll have a compass you'll have a pencil um, you'll have a whistle a whistle will be good so it's quite interesting i'll have another sip of this i've got a sweet in my mouth but yeah uh, 11.99 it's pretty worth having i might actually buy a few more of these just to keep in supply keep in i can put them in my bags when i go on holiday and just to have them have them around the house they're quite useful um yeah i wanted to apologize again for not being on very much uh, I've had a really busy start to this year. I'm looking for a new job at the moment and I've still got my university going on and uh, someone in my family's not been very well, so... Um, yeah, I've just not really had time to get... The f and money, obviously. I'm at university and I'm not in a thing at the moment, so it's hard to afford these very often, but... I should be starting now, hopefully. Starting with as many. This is one video will come up. I'll put this up as literally as soon as I've done it. You know, I don't have editing, I don't have time frames or anything like that. I'm not that professional. Um, but next will be the MCW, and I'll record that in the next couple of days, and it'll go up um, maybe a week after this one. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoy this um, BCB emergency ration pack. I put the details of the website and all that in the um, description of normal. I'm Lynn for this K, and goodbye.